our cue. Engineers blowing that whistle. Watch what happens next. A little turbulent. That's still pretty smooth, considering all this momentum. 42 ton steam locomotive and about a 75 ton loaded train behind it. Wave everyone goodbye. Good luck for our trip to the woods. some great photographs of this old steam engine coming around this right hand loop our engine one roaring camp's very first locomotive this engine came here to roaring camp in 1962 it was rescued after being abandoned and retired from railroading in a town called dixiana virginia that's how we named her dixiana seven-year-old workhorse. Very, very powerful, gear-driven steam locomotive. This is not your conventional, typical steam engine you see in a western movie. These would be working deep in the woods, hauling lumber out of the mountains. This is called a Shea locomotive, designed for mining and logging. On the right-hand side is the complete design, the entire engine set, three steam cylinders, three big pistons with a 10-inch bore and a 12-inch stroke. Spin in the crank, you can see the line shaft rotating on the bottom of the engine, connecting to both trucks. All four axles being powered by ring and pinion gears. She's an all-wheel drive, gear driven machine. steam engine. When it got to Roaring Camp here in 1962, we converted it over to oil. So if we were scooping black coal, you guys would already have a face full of soot, be choking on all the thick smoke. You might have a hole in your t-shirt from a hot spark shot out the staff. We don't want to risk burning the wood down. You guys get to breathe fresh air without getting choked for the most part. The fireman doesn't end up with a broken back after shoveling tons of that coal all day long in a toasty 130 degree locomotive. Not much smoke, none of that soot. The oil burns clean and efficient. The fireman gets a big break. We're actually using recycled motor oil from automobiles. through an old growth coastal redwood forest. These are the Sequoia sempervirens, the formal name of this species of redwood. We have three different types of redwood trees in the world. All are different types of Sequoia trees. These are the coastal redwoods. They only grow in about a 450 mile belt of forest on California's northern coast. That's it. Right after gold was discovered, the loggers came right after, started clear cutting these big mighty redwood forests down. Unfortunately, 96% of all the original old growth redwoods have been logged. So this is a very lucky neck of the woods, being the few of just the 4% of remaining old growth virgin redwood trees. This was the very first redwood grove ever saved from logging back in 1867. Coastal Redwood 
redwood trees are the tallest types of trees on planet Earth. These redwoods can grow taller than 350 feet. They can survive to be up to 2,200 years old. The average lifespan is about 600 to 800 years, most of our big trees. A great photograph, one of the best ones of the ride. We're taking you across Indian Creek Trestle now, 42-foot tall bridge. Next to some of the biggest and oldest redwoods we have on property. Many of these trees are estimated to be about a thousand years old or more. And they're about 275 feet tall. Listen to how hard this old locomotive's working now. Chugging real strong, nearly full throttle ahead, and we're lugging down, feeling the burn. Well, look how steep it just got. We're now sending this train straight up the mountain. This is exactly what these old deer-driven Shea locomotives were designed to do. And what your regular steam engines back in the day just couldn't. Modern railroad tracks nowadays are very flat, level, nice and easy. We're the exact opposite. We go for the struggle. We have some of the steepest grades and sharpest curves in the country. Our founder designed this railroad to replicate what an authentic 1880s logging line would have looked like back in the day, while harming no trees in the making of the track. Part of why it's so steep and curvy, we had to go around these big groves of old redwoods. Now the grade we're climbing right now is eight and a half percent. That means every 100 feet we move ahead, old Dixiana picks this train up eight and a half feet vertically. The power of fire and water at its finest. that time for your conductor to collect train tickets. I suggest you have your tickets ready and presented or you may find yourself hiking down one of these trails.
Many of you have noticed some of our bigger, older redwoods at this point. A lot of them near the base of burnt, charred bark from fires long ago. The last natural fire on this particular hill was almost 200 years ago. These redwoods are very, very fire resistant, especially the big old ones. Part of how they live so long, grow so tall, and get their nice cinnamon reddish bark. A very fire retarded chemical inside these redwoods that the other trees lack is called tannic acid. Tannic acid repels the heat of intense forest fires away from the center core of the tree, preserving its living flesh. In addition to that, some of the oldest large redwoods have up to 12 inches thick of that fire resistant protective bark wrapped around their base. Many of these old trees have survived repeated fires. You may notice some hollow redwoods charred in the center. If you take a look off to the left and above where the locomotive is, this was no natural fire. Two burnt bridges. There used to be a corkscrew trestle. We'd do a 360 degree loop over this canyon. One bridge would pass over the other. The tall bridge is right above the middle of the tree now. On the left or the right, you can see the burnt remains. This was burnt down by arsonists who were never caught back in 1976. A big three-day fire, thick black smoke was seen all the way from San Francisco. Look at all these big burnt trees. They're all charred, but they're alive and they're healthy. They're slowly recovering. They're going to be just fine. Everyone, grab a hold of that seat and hang on to it. We're at the end of this track, but there's more railroad behind us. We're going to back the train up the steepest part, the switchback. Here we go. There's our whistle. We're backing up. This 
piece of track we're going to climb right now is North America's steepest narrow gauge railroad grade. It's only 10%. We're not cheating using a cog gear system pulling this train up like some other railroads do. We're putting this old shade of work. Old Dixiana is the only one. All her muscles, 200 PSI in each cylinder. We gotta hit this hill hard. You may notice we're putting along. There's a following train leaving the station. After we roll through this switch, we have to rewind it. Take a look down below. You'll see the firemen climb off the locomotive, leave the boiler behind for a second, reline the track and make a run for it before this old thing stalls out. There he is, he's on the ground, minding the switch. Now look at him run. <laughs> Grab a seat now, here we go. Right up to full throttle. We made it. Welcome to Hallelujah Junction. No one had to get out to help push. You may have felt a little wheel slippage on the locomotive down when we first opened up after relining the switch. Losing traction on the steep grade, the engineer feels that he's quick on the draw, dropping sand on the rails to restore the traction. Here we go, pulling forward, changing track again.
Those of you at the front of the train, if you look down on the left-hand side right now, down the canyon, see the top view of the burnt down structure. Just about to arrive at the top of Bear Mountain. They want to get your earplugs in. So that it gets loud, you're going to get robbed. And you're going to like it. Hide your cash in your jewelry. On the left-hand side coming up, you'll see a very large fairy ring of old redwood. This is a very popular wedding ceremony site. Take all the trees on the left of the path. The Cathedral Grove. What a spot to drive it up. All right, everyone, stay on board the train. We have about an 8 to a 10 minute show up here. Sit back, relax, and enjoy it. We'll be leaving shortly after this show. Please stay on board. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
me, I know you. You're the marshal that threw me in prison and shacked up with my wife. I had to eat cold rat meat just to get by. My name's Simon, I like to play a game. What are they doing here? Simon says, do something, you do it. I think I know that conductor. Is that you? That's the conductor that threw me up a moving train and shacked up with my other one. Now, Kansas. Hey, Johnny! What? Down at Oregon! Oregon! Shadows of the past Santa Cruz, California. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 